welcome to the car show on this channel we'll be doing car reviews test drives just giving you guys our opinions on these cars looking at common issues see what they like to drive on a daily basis to start off the channel we've got this type r fn2 to show you around Right guys, so we're in the Honda Civic. The plan was to get some daytime driving shots, but unfortunately the audio messed up. So we're here at night now. Gonna do a bit of driving, gonna talk about the car, gonna talk about how it feels. So obviously, as you guys know, this is 201 brake horsepower. So it's not massively quick in any way, but the way that it makes you feel is, is completely different to uh, a turbo car. You know, you only get that boost when you get to 5,000 revs. Um, and when you do get VTEC engaged, it, it really is like a little uh, pocket rocket. Um, I mean, that's the thing with hot hatchbacks. They are just fun to drive, fun little cars and practical as a daily driver as well. So I'm gonna drive it. I'm gonna talk to you about how it feels. You know, this is a four cylinder naturally aspirated car. So uh, yeah, let's just go for a drive. So what I think about this car is the, the gear stick position, first of all, I think it's spot on. It's nice, easy, uh, you know, to reach to. Steering wheel, nice feel, you know, uh, in a good position, you can see the speedo, you can see everything that you need to see all the controls are you know within reach you don't have to stretch massively everything's nice and bright inside here um, I'm on a straight road as you can see so let's drop it down the gear let's give it some so yeah as you can see VTEX kicked in criticisms about this car is the suspension though is very very stiff so if you compare that against the GTI for example uh, it's a lot more comfortable you can just literally feel practically every bump that you go over but it's, it's, it's not made you can live with it but in my opinion it's not the best considering the seats are quite firm and hard as well you do feel it a bit more so, you know, just driving it normally here. Yeah. Haven't got me taking gears. I'm in fourth gear at 3,200 revs. Straight road. I will say though, the seats do nicely hook you in. I mean, that's the thing about these seats. They look nice as well. normal city driving you know where you're gonna be most of the time it doesn't make you want to go overly fast always you know for example an s3 you always get this little buzz of just wanting to speed everywhere you know because this turbo the power's right there you don't have to build anything up but with this you have to get it at the optimum rev range for it to actually feel like something i think that's the best thing about it you can just, if you drive it under 5,000 revs, just like a, a normal car in my opinion, but once you get it over 5,000 revs, it just feels like a little uh, little go-kart in my opinion. That's what I like about these Honda Civic VTEX. You know, they're not massively flamboyant or anything like that. It's, it's a civilized car. It's not too brash. And considering the size of it as well, it goes quite nice. Let's see what else we spot on the road. Let's go up here.
um, in a rear wheel drive you get that way you're gonna take a corner the road's a bit wet you think, oh, is it gonna slip you know I've driven rear wheel cod and I know what they like in the wet and with this you can definitely take it around you know bends and corners in confidence Most of the time you're going to spend in the city in this car, you know, but when you do take it in the back roads, it's, it's definitely fun. Don't get me wrong, you're not going to win a lot of drag races in this, but it's, it's nice. It's definitely nice. And the thing with these as well, Honda makes them very, very reliable. You don't really hear uh, many FN2s going wrong. You get the odd occasional way it says third gear you know uh, the gearbox wine in third gear but more or less they are very reliable cars you look after them you service them on time it will serve you very 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 well this one is on 108,000 miles but it doesn't even feel like it at all um, and this particular model it's got Honda service history vast majority of it after that it's been independently serviced to be fair the kind of person that you get buying these are generally more enthusiast based they know what they're looking for they don't really want a gti and s3 um, you know the, the japanese cars are more for them and the japanese cars you know, it's a completely different feel to the German cars. I'm just going to put some fuel in this. I haven't even got any. driving at the same time I mean if there was a passenger sat next to me for example I could talk to him all day about it but talking to a camera it's, uh, it's a little bit different but you know we'll get we'll get used to it guys so what do I think of the FN2 like let's say it's mostly going to be compared to a GTI and I've driven, you know, the Mark 5 GTI, which I'd say this competes with. Um, the GTI in its own right is, is, is a great car. It's very, very fun. Um, considering it's, that's, that's a turbo car as well. So the power is more or less there. You don't really have to get to the high rev range. Um, in that car, in my opinion, the GTI is much more comfortable. And having an extra seat is also beneficial as well. But that shouldn't put you off considering uh, an FN2 Type R because they are great cars in their own right and very, very reliable. And the thing with an FN2 is because you don't see as many of them as you see a GTI, I think it's more of a, a novelty factor just in a viaduct.
that's where it makes you smile knowing that you can rev it that high and a lot of people say that when you do have an FN2 Type R you should get into VTEC you know you shouldn't just ponder about like little Miss Daisy you should drive it like it's meant to be driven um, I've read stories online where people say if, if, you know, if they haven't engaged VTEC in a long time that when they do try and engage it it doesn't work but why get an FN2 Type R if you're not going to engage VTEC it's a bit daft in my opinion We are quite near the motorway to be fair. think of the type R definitely consider it if you're thinking about getting a hot hatchback get yourself uh, in a test drive of a FN2 type R you know drive it see what you think make up your own opinion in, in my opinion you should definitely consider one of these you shouldn't disregard it because it doesn't get all the hype that GTIs get so yeah um, let us know what you want to see in the future and uh, we'll do our best Thank you.